International Elevate Conference. It's a children's and pre-teens conference for leaders and volunteers, equipping them, helping them. I'm here with one of the keynote speakers, Carolyn Bergeron, because she's French. How you doing? Very good. So um, can you just tell us a little bit about Elevate Conference, the heart behind it, what's taking place here? Well, we're just conscious that most children pastors or even lay leaders in our churches have not attended church for quite a while. And this weekend is all about them. Mm. It's about ministering to their heart, have them being refreshed, really inspire, and also equip um, just in their work for the ministry. You know, you, you get to travel across Canada a lot and um, you maybe have a pulse on what a lot of children's ministries and, and past children's pastors are going through, workers, volunteers. How can people encourage them, whether it's the parents or the senior pastors? What is kind of the heart and what, is, and what do they need? They need just prayer. I think we need to hear from God first mm. because uh, if God lead us, then we can make sure that our, we're going in the right places. Mm -hmm. And I mean, there's so much a temptation to go through, uh, you know, the best curriculum mm -hmm. around or different trend and stuff. But we need to hear from God and mm -hmm. to follow, have the courage to follow Him. So uh, we need that. We also need um, just affirmation, mm -hmm. just affirmation and encouragement because often because you're not very seen, you're not seen very right, often. Right. So I uh, just hear testimonies of how their work just makes such a difference in their kid's life. It's, yeah. it's just very encouraging. It's huge encouragement, yeah. huge, huh? Yeah. Um, what are some elements that you see right now successful children's ministries doing? You know, whether it's, I don't mean necessarily like, well, they, they do the puppet shows or whatnot, but I mean, like, what are ministries that are reaching, you know, kids, you know, in their in the heart? What are, what are they doing right now? Well, I call that, we don't want to raise little Pharisees. You know, right. sometimes we try to uh, clean the outside of the cup and conform the behavior, you know, mm -hmm. uh, but really let the inside being all dirty, don't care much about sure. that. So we, we really want to see a transformation of the heart. Mm -hmm. And for that, it's all about um, teaching to the heart and mm. teaching, tra treating kids as supernatural being because they are a supernatural being. If you think about Harry Potter and Twilight, it's so popular because it's all talk about spiritual sure. things. And our heart is just to speak to them as spiritual beings and that um, that God can really meet each and every one of their needs. Also, we want to partner with the families, thinking yeah. that uh, it, it's not about us, you know, discipling the kids only, but it's mm -hmm. about really coming alongside the family that has so many more hours with their children. So partnership with the actual family. Yeah. Uh, what, what are um, some uh, 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 like ways to measure success within a children's ministry? You know, um, a lot of times, uh, in like in youth ministry, they measure it like, are they still serving the Lord in their 20s and whatnot? I mean, what would what are some key uh, things to measure success in children's ministry? I would say really transform hearts. Mm. And how do you measure that? Often we measure by behavior, and that is, is true. We mm -hmm. act according to abundance sure. of our heart. But um, I would say it's uh, just uh, having, when you have interaction with the child, because it's not necessarily through ex external growth. Right. It's when you speak with, talk with the child and they uh, just be able to share with their hearts where they're at and their struggle, mm -hmm. and are able to press through difficult time with the Lord right. and be able to uh, and be put in situations where they actually have to apply the Word of God into their lives and that it's proven to be actually a good thing mm -hmm. and it's proved to be powerful. This is how I measure children's ministry, not only, not just by growth and... and right, it. right. Children's ministry eventually comes to an end then they kind of go into that preteen, yeah. you know, which is also being, you know, the leaders are being ministered to here. And then they go into youth and, you know, college and so on and so forth. And each time there's kind of that transition from ministry to ministry. How would you suggest for people out there in children's ministry, you know, um, in preteen ministry, uh, uh, really navigating that transition. What should they be doing in that transition time to get them from one ministry onto the next? Well, one thing is about um, really doing stuff together, you know, mm -hmm. with the children and the preteen pastor, uh, instead of being very two different departments, just bonding together, doing mm -hmm. activities, because often memories and relationship are bond through uh, experience. Yeah. Uh, one thing that we do, we put up every t every year a conference for a middle schooler called Spark. So we have a lot of um, kids that are not quite in the youth, mm -hmm. not out of the children ministry, and sometimes even ministry that uh, churches that don't have uh, middle school ministries. So they come to Spark and we uh, just gather together mm -hmm. and they get to make friends and really for the first time experiencing that kind of bond.
and and uh, together, and it's just beautiful. You have such a great heart for uh, these these children workers and uh, uh, mini, you know ministers, volunteers, and whatnot. Uh, now you guys have this as a yearly conference, and like you said, you just spark. Every two years. Uh, this is every two years. Yes. Okay, every two years. Can they get a hold of you? Otherwise, do you have like a Twitter, do they get an email that, that you know, like somebody out there right now is watching, and they just want some encouragement? They're a children's pastor. They're looking for someone, maybe a little mentorship. Is there? Mm -hmm. Do you have a website? What's your? Yeah, I have a blog, CarolineBergeron.ca, and they call also a reach, uh, Next Generation Ministries on the web and give them all information. Perfect. Hey, thank you so much, Carolyn. You're wonderful, incredible. Think International and Elevate.